on this week's Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. Bob heads to Sylvester, Georgia to do some quail hunting at Southern Woods Plantation. And on this week's Sportsman's Table, we feature another South Carolina certified recipe. All this and a whole lot more. And it begins right now. Oh, man. This has been a great day. We shot this hard. Oh, look at that. Wow. Let me hold that thing. Nice. Well, folks, welcome to Bob Redford's Outdoor Magazine this week. We are back down in South Georgia, and I've got some special guests, and I've got a great guide. I tell you what, when we're at Southern Woods Plantation in Sylvester, Georgia, I always like to bring some of my best friends down here, and I've got two of the best that I know in the country who love bird hunting, who love the outdoors. And let me introduce the guy right here to my, my immediate left is Mr. Jim Rockmore. He's the CEO and president. He is a Georgia boy, actually, but he lives in Orangeburg, South Carolina. He is the CEO and president of a super sod and if you all if you got grass in your yard he probably helped put it in there then the guy over here on the other side is the commissioner of agriculture for the great state of South Carolina good friend of mine for years I tell you what this guy absolutely SC certified and I tell you what, he's got so many great programs. That's Mr. Hugh Weathers. And then on the other side over here is our guide, uh, premier today, Newt Hughes from down here at Southern Woods Plantation. And I tell you what, guys, I just want to thank you all for, for having the opportunity to come down here and be on the great show to today. Be here, Bob. Hugh, I tell you what, I, I just have to ask you, uh, before we get started here, I know your love of the outdoors as a youngster growing up, okay? Uh, I, I know all about this guy, too. We're going to ask outdoors. him. But, you know, from your perspective, just how important is your job now as the Commissioner of Agriculture, you know, and agribusiness and all those kind of things, but, I mean, that's one of the premier things that, that you have done since you've been in office. Well, it's where agriculture happens, outdoors, uh, for so many of our farm families across the state who make their living in agriculture in so many different ways and really I've got the best job in the state. I get to, to work with these people to experience uh, their livelihoods and, and help just create opportunities for them. But you're right, the outdoors is where it happens in agriculture no matter where you're growing sod or uh, sweet corn and uh, just getting to work with those farmers is a real privilege. Well, you, and you brought a good friend of yours that you've grown up with from Orangeburg right here. Jim, I tell you what, it is a, it's just a privilege to have you join Hugh and I today. And I, I tell you what, you're a guy after my own heart, shooting a 410 Browning. <laughs> I mean, it, it don't get no better than that, okay? We got Browning, the best there is. But, you know, Jim, just growing up here in Georgia and then moving over to South Carolina, and, of course, that's where home is. You're such a big outdoorsman, okay? And, and, and I just I know it's so important to you as well, the conservation of what we're about to do today. Well, it, it is. I mean, there's, there's no better way to spend a day than behind a bird dog with good friends, and that's just great. You just look around at the peace and the tranquility and the beauty of the Lord's creation. It's just unbelievable, and to be able to be outside and be a guest of both of y'all is just a special privilege, and thanks for having me. Look for forward to a great day with Newt. I know we're going to have a good time. And we are. Birds. Yeah, we are. You? All right, brother. Let's get behind them dogs, Bo. Yeah. Bo, it's all up to you now. All right, folks. I tell you what, Bob Redford's Outdoor Magazine, Southern Woods Plantation, great friends, guys on my right and my left. Listen, stay tuned because I'm telling you, it is going to be some action you're always going to remember. Find them. Oh, look at there. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Ah. Oh, there we go. Look That's at that. That's a little. Hey, There's South Georgia snow. Get reloaded, boys. Bring it in, Bill. I don't know if I can get down before I get him again. Oh. There you go. Take it. Oh, nicely done, Jim. Nicely done. Yeah. Jim, yeah, they always do that. <laughs> they always do that. Got two down there. Good shooting, guys. Good shooting. Great shooting. Let's get reloaded because I think the boys say there's more in here. A little more in here. All right, here he comes. <laughs> we got to wait on the man. Get a bird, mate. Get a bird, mate. 
Huh? They may have got out of there. There you go. Nice. There he goes. Get reloaded, boys. Get reloaded. There we go. Take him. There he goes, Hugh. Get him. Nice there. There we go. All right. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Jim, now I got to tell you, man. Look at you. Hey, both you guys, huh? You know, you've been getting you out a lot here, I can tell. Huh? You guys have been getting on the circuit a little bit. Listen, tell me just real quick about SuperSod and, and what that's meant to you your whole life. I know this outdoor business is, is huge, but that, that's, that's something I want our viewers to know about because uh, the business that you're in, we all need grass. Look at that. Shoe's still knocking them down. I'll go talk to him in a minute. <laughs> but tell me a little bit about the business. Well, uh, Patent Sea Company started. Started in Lakeland, Georgia, 40 miles south of here. I moved to Orangeburg 35 years ago. We're in three states: North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. We, sh I guess, ship more sod than anybody in the world. We shipped out 18,000 tractor trailer loads this year. It's a big logistics business. Most of our grass goes in somebody's yard. Our team is awesome. Our top 100 people are just unbelievable. How they sell, how they deliver, how they take care of it. And uh, like this business, it's it's quality and service if you want to stay in business. And, and I think that's been our key to success. I've been, this is my 51st year working with the company. I started planting grass when I was 13. So uh, 51 years, I've loved every day. Uh, well, listen, I will tell you, in my house in Blythewood, I've, I've got Zoysia grass from Superside, okay? And it, it is absolutely the finest. So with that, I'm, I'm, it's just an honor and a privilege to have you down here. Well, thank you much. And aside and being a, being a guest and a, and a wingman on my show today. Huh? <laughs> Let's go get some you. more coveys, all right? Stay tuned after commercial break. We head back to Southern Woods for some more quail hunting on this week's Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. Southern Woods Plantation. The name itself conjures up images of a time gone by. A time of towering pines, mule-drawn wagons, and covey after covey of Bob White quail. Southern Woods Plantation has been chosen as one of the top six hunting destinations in America. They offer great hunting, comfortable lodging, wonderful food, and world-class dogs. Southern Woods Plantation, where the past can still be experienced today. When we face adversity, we find a way through it. It's about taking care of each other. It's the small parts that make a big difference. At Chevy, we promise to do ours. We're offering Chevy owners complimentary OnStar crisis assist services and Wi-Fi data. If you need a new Chevy, interest-free financing for 84 months with deferred payments for 120 days on many of our most popular models. You may even shop online and take delivery at home. It's just our way of doing our part. Florence, South Carolina is full of flavor. From fresh South Carolina seafood to South Carolina grown produce and meats, Florence is the place to find the culinary heritage of the South celebrated. Local restaurant chefs in Florence are dishing up vibrant Southern inspired meals in the PD and the only thing missing is you. Explore our city and plan your food journey to Florence, South Carolina at cityofflorence.com. Full life, full forward. We are Florence, South Carolina. Football? Nah. Baseball? Did it. Motocross? Got hurt. I choose to fish. And fish. And fish. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by these following sponsors. Chevrolet, the official vehicle of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. By the South Carolina Agriculture Department, it's a matter of taste. By the old 96th District of South Carolina, come discover the unexpected wonders. By South Carolina Embroidery and Screen Printing, 
your source for all your promotional product needs. And by the City of Florence, South Carolina. Florence is full life, full forward. I know, buddy. Dean. Dean. Take him. Nicely done, guys. I Nicely shot a done. dead bird in the butt. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right oh, now. I shot a dead bird. Woo! Shot, oh. man, good shot. Listen, let's just take a second while we, we're letting Jim see if he can't find some well, other birds out there. Yeah. Listen, nice. talk to me just a little bit. I mean, you're 15 years in yeah. to as the commissioner of agriculture. What's so important? I know agribusiness is important to you. That was one of your mainstays. Mm -hmm. But, you know, let's talk to all the folks out there just well, for you, South Carolina. You know, South Carolina is still a rural state. Uh, yeah, we've got Columbia and Charleston and Greenville. Those economies are thriving. But agriculture is still our state's largest industry. It happens in all of our rural counties. And our focus is to provide more opportunities for agribusiness to expand in those counties, either by a farmer adding something to his or her mix to, to vertically integrate that way, or by attracting industries to come to this state, to, to South Carolina, and use farm products uh, and, and build up that way. We've done some things pretty aggressive in order to encourage that. I, I'll tell you what I'm most pleased with from, from Governor McMaster and the Commerce Department and others, they're beginning to recognize what we've known in farming, just how important it is. But we got great partnerships and I think that will just bode well for the future. Again, growing this industry, we think we'll reach a $50 billion impact by 2020. So what do we do? We set our sights on 15 years down the road and see in, in the year 2035, when I'm rocking on the porch in a nursing home, uh, you know, what can that impact be and how can we get that next generation of farmers to see it just as a great career choice? Go that way or swing around Whoa. a little bit? I'm going to pivot All this right. way. Here we go. Okay, I just right didn't know if we were. Right All right, let me get right in here. Are we good, guys? All set? All right. Man, that's beautiful points. You, I got a feeling they're coming your way. That's the best chance yeah, that, of survival. No, that's not true. Okay. See, I told you. <laughs> there you go. Nice shot. Mm. That breeze had that set blowing along. Listen, well, I tell you what, and, and that was an excellent shot now. I have to compliment you on that because that there. thing zooked and, and dived. Oh, really? my goodness. He did a flyby. He buzzed the top. Yeah. Oh, oh, there, there you go. Was. Take That's it, Jim. That's it. There we go. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh, falling. He's falling. There you go. We gave him that. You got credit for that one. <laughs> I'm telling you. Come on, man. No, that's all right. When we come back, we head to the sportsman's table for another great recipe from Deck 383 in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. South Carolina's Santee Cooper Country invites you to relax and get away from the pressures of everyday life from world-class fishing, golf, camping, or lakeside dining on traditional Southern cuisine. With over 450 miles of shoreline, Santee Cooper is an exciting challenge for fishing, canoeing, and kayaking offering unique outdoor adventures for the whole family. Santee Cooper Country. Discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. To receive a free newsletter and e-news, just log on at SanteeCooperCountry.org. The fear of failure is failure itself. The world of science rewards the ones who are willing to try and fail. Because without the courage to embrace failure, Ideas remain ideas, but with that courage to fail and to learn, ideas can change the world. Many accidents and fatalities could have been prevented if operators would have worn their safety lanyard. It easily attaches to you. When an operator is thrown overboard, the lanyard pulls the cutoff switch, cutting power to the motor. Safety lanyards are mandatory on personal watercraft. Florence, South Carolina is full of flavor. From fresh South Carolina seafood to South Carolina grown produce and meats, Florence is the place to find the culinary heritage of the South celebrated. Local restaurant chefs in Florence are dishing up vibrant Southern inspired meals in the PD and the only thing missing is you. Explore our city and plan your food journey to Florence, South Carolina at cityofflorence.com. Full life, 
full forward. We are Florence, South Carolina. A float plan is a detailed itinerary of your day on the water. It outlines a description of your boat or PWC, where you are going and when you are expected to return. This information should be given to a responsible party in case you fail to return. The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or out of state, be sure to buy South Carolina grown meats, vegetables, and fruits. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Folks, welcome to Deck 383 here on Waka Watcha Marina and Merle's in it. We're back here on the Sportsman's Table with another great recipe. Jermaine Alston, he's our main guy down here at Deck 383. Got a special shrimp and grits recipe for you today. This is absolutely awesome. Jermaine, it's always a pleasure, you, my Bob. friend. Huh? Thank, you. thank you for having me back. Well, thank let's, you, uh, let's get on with this, man, because I tell you what, shrimp, it's always in season in South Carolina. Especially fresh local shrimp. There you go. Okay. Fresh local shrimp. All right, how are we going to cook this we, up? This is one of our recipes here that's outstanding. We serve this and people just love it. It's a low country recipe or shrimp and grits. There you go. It's the bomb. Okay. It's the bomb. All right, man. So we're going to start off with, Bob, we got some fresh South Carolina certified onions and green peppers. We're okay. We're going to throw those in here. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let that kind of start cooking a little uh, bit. Ah, man, when you start hearing that sizzling oh, down yeah, here, Dick, yeah, 383. Keep, keep Woo. cooking. Mm. That's you don't want to cook about. these too long because you want them good and al dente. You don't want them too soft. You don't want it too I got firm. you. Okay. So we just let that cook. For now we got that in butter yep. as opposed to olive oil. Yep. Okay. All I right. don't cook them with butter because it's a little more flavor to them. Yeah, there you go. Too. Plus, you know, when you come to Deck 383, you're not down here trying to worry about losing weight, man. You're down oh, here you're to enjoy food. Enjoy, enjoy. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Get good and full. Okay. Enjoy the view. Yeah. So right, we got our onions cooking a little bit, onions and peppers. We can go ahead and add our fresh local shrimp. Okay. You, I use 21, 25s, but you can use 41, 50, 16, 20. Any you size want, you want. Any size yeah, you want. Yeah, okay. That's good. All right, Jermaine, what else we got to going in the shrimp and grits? Our, our last two finishing touches. Okay, the awesome. shrimp and grits. We're going to throw some little chopped bacon. Okay. Bacon always makes everything good. Oh, you never can go wrong with bacon. Mm -hmm. okay. The smell of bacon and shrimp mixed together. Oh, goodness. Get that salty a little bit. Let mm -hmm. that cook down. Okay. And then we're going to be adding the what? Last fresh made brown gravy. Oh, goodness. Made fresh right here at Deck 383. Oh, wow. That gravy. You know, made. and I have to say, this is a different twist on shrimp oh, grits, yeah. Jermaine. Oh, yeah. A lot yeah. of people, a lot of people use a tomato, so a tassel ham gravy. Right, right. Some people use a cream gravy. But right. I was raised on the, the brown. The gravy. brown gravy. Brown yeah. gravy. Well, I tell you what, that that looks great. Oh make wow. It fresh. That right no there. wonder folks come down here to eat your and cooking, huh? Yes, sir. We're gonna top it off. Now. With a little green onions there. Deck 383 cooking oh, makes yes, you good sir. looking. Oh, yes, sir. Why do you uh, think I'm so beautiful? I know that. I'm telling you, man. Thank you for the recipe today you, and, and hosting us You're here welcome. at Deck 383. And, problem. folks, listen, I will tell you, come on down to Watcher Watcher Marina down here at beautiful Merle's Inlet at Deck 383 and log on to certifiedscgrown.com and see what's fresh on your menu as well as what's fresh on the menu down here. To find out more information on food that's fresher and tastier, go online at CertifiedSCGrown.com. Buy certified South Carolina grown products. It's a matter of taste. You should always use a safety on any firearm, but remember, a safety is a mechanical device that can fail. It is only there to supplement proper gun handling. Remember, safe hunting is no accident. When we face adversity, we find a way through it. It's about taking care of each other. It's the small parts that make a big difference. At Chevy, we promise to do ours. We're offering Chevy owners complimentary OnStar crisis assist services and Wi-Fi data. If you need a new Chevy, interest-free financing for 84 months with deferred payments for 120 days on many of our most popular models. You may even shop online and take delivery at home. It's just our way of doing our part. Nestled in the western part of South Carolina is the Old 96 District. Comprised of Abbeville, Edgefield, Greenwood, Lawrence, and McCormick Counties, this region is rich in history, 
fishing, hunting, and small town flavor. Old 96 District is part of the South Carolina freshwater coast, covering over 2,000 miles of shoreline, which offer many fishing opportunities and is home to the only wild turkey museum in the world. Local businesses offer a wide variety of unique gifts and foods. Make sure you discover the undiscovered wonders of the Old 96 District of South Carolina. Always use binoculars to identify game of movement in the woods. Never use a rifle scope for that purpose. Remember, you're pointing a loaded firearm at a moving object, and that moving object could be another hunter in the same area. Remember, safe hunting is no accident. Take a moment to think about the food you buy and eat. Is it fresh? I mean really fresh. Or is it shipped from a grower hundreds or even thousands of miles away? Well. Here in South Carolina, we celebrate fresh, locally grown food and unforgettable meals with family and friends. So, choose food that's rooted right here. Choose certified SC grown. It's a matter of taste. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. Life's just better outdoors by Berkeley. Berkeley, your fish, our science. By Southern Woods Plantation, offering the best in Southern comfort in quail hunting. And by Santee Cooper Country, discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. I've got a whole new group of South Carolina guys from uh, up and around Columbia, and I'm going to introduce them now. They're going to be my wingmen on this segment of the show. The, the guy on the far left is Duncan McIntosh. He's a vice president and legal counsel for Blue Cross Blue Shield of South Carolina. Next to him is Trip Jennings. Uh, he is our MD, our doctor. He's actually the son of Buddy Jennings, who you've seen on the show before, and of course, right here. Grayson is Buddy's brother-in-law, but he's also actually a construction manager for Impact Consultants there in Columbia. Then I've got Bobby Del Rossi. He's our guide, and who we got here? A little bear. Oh man, little bear! And of course, my longtime friend here, Buddy Jennings, the former director of South Carolina Parks, Rec, and Tourism. And I tell you what, we just got a great. Carolina contingent down here in South Georgia on our quail hunt today, and I tell you what, you know, guys, I'm ready to go. I think the boy, the boys have got some points for us. Okay, uh, and you guys are, I'm telling you, styling and profiling today. F O B, friends of Bob. Bob. Okay, well now we got to go do this, okay. Duncan. That's me. That's me and you get this first covey, Bo. Uh, right. You ready? I'm ready. All right, man. Let's go do it. Woo! You shooting the 410, Bob? We'll defer to you. Six, 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 whoa! Kill! Whoa! All right, come on up, boys. Whoa. Nice, nice points. All right, get him out. You know, Duncan, I tell you what. Come on, Jesus. Sunshine in South right. Georgia. Yep. Half geek. Mmm. Them things got going in a hurry. <laughs> Come here, Jesus. In a hurry. Bob. Zeke, get up there and sit down. Zeke, sit down. Sit. Hey, sit. Whoa, Jill. Whoa, Jill. Whoa, Jill. Zeke, sit down. Good boy. Oh. Got to be more in there. Come on up, Bob. All right. Ready? Okay, Zeke, get him out. Find him, Zeke. Find him, Zeke. There's one. Kill him. Nice knot. Nicely done, guys. Jill, here. Nicely done. Come on, Jack. Man, when they when they get up, they get down. Close. Boy, deep right here. Deep, 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 deep here. Man. Whoa. Whoa. There oh, there we go. More in there. Get ready. Get him out, Jill. Go get Good him. shot, Bob. Mm. Good boy. Well done. Jill, close, Jill, close, Jill. Jack. Get in there and help her, Jack. Close. Jack close, boy Jack. Deep right here. Maybe. Deep right what do you think, boys? Check it, Deep. <laughs> that is Deep. Mm. That's it, Jack. I think that's it, boys. Yep. All right, Jack, come, come on, here, me, Jack. Trip Duncan. Come here, guys. Let's talk a little bit about why Bobby gets reset now. You know, one of the great things, get over here, Trip. Hey, 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 
that I love is I love having great sportsmen behind bird dogs, okay? And you guys have done a yeoman's work. Now tell me a little bit about what uh, Blue Cross and Blue Shield is all about. I mean, everybody knows it's insurance, it's that sort of thing, and it's protection uh, and medical care. But And then I'm going to get to you in just a second because, I mean, you know, having the medical expertise on staff there and the legal expertise, yeah. I mean, you, you guys uh, are a great team. Well, we are, and, you know, appreciate you asking, Bob. It's interesting. Blue Cross of South Carolina is a smaller Blue Cross plan, and we're only in South Carolina. That's the rules of the association. We use the name and the mark. But we're a bigger company because we do a lot of back office processing for the government and for other blue plans. And we've got, what, 15,000 employees? Mm -hmm. We're a big company for a small footprint, and really, we, you know, it's getting so one of the few corporations left in South Carolina, and it makes a difference to the community. Well, now, Tripp, you're, uh, okay, this guy can get us out of jail, okay? <laughs> you can make sure that we're healthy when we get there, but as a, as a, as a medical doctor, okay, and, and what you do now at Blue Cross, I mean, tell me just a little bit about, you know, how important it is what, what you provide these guys. Well, I think, you know, certainly from the standpoint of traditional insurance, thinking about just having that, you know, in case something happens, but, you know, we really transitioned over the last few years to say, what can we do to keep people healthy? And uh, how can we help the community, the state, and even those that might be, you know, the corporation based in South Carolina, but they have employees outside of the state, how can we keep them healthy? And so that's one of the big things we focus on, value-based care, trying to move away from fee-for-service, but really helping the employers, uh, which still pay for the majority of insurance, you know, in the nation, how can we help them keep their employees at work happy and healthy? Well, you know, what's so heartwarming for me, for both of you guys, you guys are big outdoorsmen, okay, and I love that, but you're also good shots, okay, so it's <laughs> nice to have wingmen on the right and the left uh, who really love and do what I do, and I want to thank you both, and listen, we, we got more coveys out there, okay? That's right. All right, boo, let, let's That's go right. get them, okay? To be here. We are set up here. Look at that setting back there, the lakes, I hear the mallards on the pond. Mm. Y'all good? Yep. I think we're good. All right, get them out. There you go. Okay. Reload. <laughs> oh my Another goodness. bird in here, I think, Bobby. Oh, good. Check it, All right, here they go. There you go. That one got away from us, boys. That's okay. He uh, he'll live to to fly another day. Well, folks, that's our show from Southern Woods Plantation in Sylvester, Georgia this week. I hope you've enjoyed as much as we've enjoyed bringing it to you. You watching it and all the guests, i got to thank those guys for coming down here. It's a beautiful place. The birds are flying. It's always a treat to come down. Benji Deloach and all the staff do a great job. Check them out on Bob's Top 16, Southern Woods Plantation. And, hey, got to close the top on my Browning shotgun this week. As I always like to say each and every week, the outdoors is my passion. I want it to be yours too. We'll see you right back here again next week on another episode of Bob Redford's Outdoor Magazine.